Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Arm Wrestling Simulator, where today we are starting over as a big old fat noob, as you can see by this baby emoji here by our name. But we're gonna see if we can reach the final World 7 within Arm Wrestling Simulator without the use of one of the game's most overpowered mechanics, that being rebirths. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with what rebirthing is, it's incredibly, incredibly overpowered. And I'm on a different account to show you guys how it works. Now, in order to rebirth, you need a few wins, and you get wins by beating bosses within arm wrestling simulator so we've defeated the champion boss a few times and we have a few wins and if we go to the rebirth menu you can see that if we decide to spend 25 wins we can go from a 100 strength training boost to a 115 strength training boost and we go from a noob to a beginner so we can rebirth but when we rebirth we happen to lose all of our strength but whenever we decide to train our strength we do get it a little bit faster and so every time we rebirth it costs a little bit more wins but you do get a 15% increase in how much strength you actually get when you train. And so right there, we went from a 100 to a 175% increase, which basically doubles how fast we get strength in the game, which makes beating bosses super, super easy. And if you're wondering, what's the max percent strength boost you can get? Well, on my main account, we have a staggering 5,100% boost, or basically a 51x multiplier that we will not be able to use on our brand new account in this challenge. So it's really gonna hurt. So we're gonna be stuck at a 0% strength boost for this entire challenge and we're gonna be stuck being a noob. But we do have a few tricks up our sleeve, that being a full team of a glowing reindeer 500 million multiplier pets, as well as a full team of winner winner 5 enchanted pets. Also a max out 40 pet equips. Because listen gamers, if I can't get this rebirth strength game, I need every little bit of advantage I can get. And also as you can see, it's January seconds but uh for some reason the christmas advent calendar is still in the game so i'm just gonna claim everything which should give us i believe another seven pet equips for free some wheel spins and most importantly a hundred hours of 3x boost which will be very very helpful as well as some christmas wheel spins which won't really give us anything but we can purchase some crates which will give us a nice boost at the start because we wow get a 400 arm and we can go ahead and find Finally get started training and let's see holy crap we're already getting like 17 trillion strength per curl we can already obliterate the world one bosses i'm gonna be honest i knew the first few worlds like these were gonna be really easy oh my gosh 73 000 wins and i also did pick up now i'm gonna be honest i bought the vip game pass i also bought the double hand strength the double knuckle strength the double bicep power the double wins game pass and the teleport game pass who that was a lot to say in one breath i also picked up a few double wins potions so we can go on chuck on a few hours of that Ooh, we can go ahead and where's the trails get a new trail that should help and oh dude i have so many pets equipped i do not want to see these guys but we can already just squeeze our way out of world to 400 million wins oh my gosh okay this winner winner team is absolutely busted so really though like you guys are watching this and you're thinking quacks why are you doing this this challenge is so easy i'm telling you i genuinely think as soon as we get to the higher world like world five i think is where we're gonna really start to struggle like we're already kind of struggling in world three we need one point of the qa and this is right here this is where i would be spamming this button i would be clicking this as fast as humanly possible because i would be able to get like a 500 training boost but i can't so we're still doing good for now you know 1.7 qa if we go ahead and put on our winner winner can we beat the kraken boss oh yeah baby slowly but surely we can oh my gosh we are barely beating him we get three oh my gosh 3.9 trillion wins wait 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 we got four trillion how do, we beat the kraken boss one time we got five trillion wins that makes that literally the math ain't math then. i don't know wait that that makes no okay unless they're just doubling wins out here and i'm not seeing that that is insane so we can go ahead and purchase a new trail we also arms are, is going to be one of our biggest helps and uh we're really down battle arms we might have to afk some bosses for 
for a while just to get some arms. Now, I know what you also might be thinking, Quacks, it's so unrealistic for you to have a full team of glowing reindeers on a new account. Now, if you guys haven't played Arm Wrestling Simulator before, this Christmas event that is currently going on, it is by far the most broken thing that the developers have ever released. Basically, if you play the game for a few days, you're kind of guaranteed at least one of these best pets because of this, this wheel right here. If you're able to get like a million candy coins, which I know sounds like a lot, but basically you just AFK fight bosses for like a day and that'll be enough candy coins to spin this wheel enough times to get this best friend a glowing reindeer. Trust me, it's possible. I have like 200 of these across my accounts and I know people with literally thousands of these pets. Like previously, it felt kind of insane giving a brand new account these best pets, but now I don't even feel bad because I feel like honestly on a brand new account, I could get one of these pets within like a few days of playing and it's like I said January 2nd I have no clue when they're gonna remove this event so if you guys are watching this video the Christmas event still might be going on there's still a chance you can still hop in and get this but hey we're still 0% rebirth we're still a big old fat noob and uh yeah we're gonna be moving on to world 5 kind of soon world 6 I think I'm gonna be there for maybe an entire day I might have to sit my butt there and AFK those hand grippers for an entire day I don't know that's just kind of my guess or this just might go to show wait wait am i tr wait do i not have my strength team applied dude no i had the wrong oh my gosh i had the wrong team applied are you kidding me i was over here talking like this is gonna take days dude oh my gosh dude are you kidding me we have 26 qi strength that's way more than enough we can destroy the mutant king 50 qi and it's funny because right there it says like 50 qi wins and then we ended up getting like 100 qi so again one win and we're out of the bunker this is literally world record pace again i don't know how we're doing this this is insanity and if i was doing a speed run i might actually be my former world record but hey that's fine because i don't even think anyone's tried to beat my other world record before but let's see there's not a barbell in here so we need to go back to the but wait no we, 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 we can already beat it we only need one qi strength to beat this mammoth how many wins are we gonna get we might get like a stupid amount of wins for beating the mammoth what is it gonna be two sx so we actually okay it's dude this game is so weird now it's saying we're getting 2sx we're getting okay now we're only getting 2sx that's so okay so it was glitch we are getting 2sx per win uh we have to beat this guy 250 times but then we'll be out here on the world six maybe i was wrong maybe i was wrong maybe you can beat this game without rebirthing i thought you genuinely had to rebirth in order to beat this game but maybe because they have dumped so many op pets into this game you don't have to rebirth now obviously i know i've got game passes and i have a bunch of pet equips but still the fact that in my opinion a few weeks to go have before these pets existed you would have had to rebirth in order to beat the game i don't know it's just kind of weird it's interesting to say the least but uh yeah i'll see you guys in a few minutes when we're <laughs> when we're on to world six a few moments all right with just a few more wins and we will be moving on to world six it's been like 20 minutes one of my favorite things in arm wrestling simulator used to do these big grindy challenges and honestly and i obviously know that i spent a good chunk of robux getting these pet equips and purchasing these game passes but there's something just not satisfying about being able to beat a boss like one time with these winner winner pets and moving on to the next world but hey that's the state of the game when we're moving on to the void world six only one world left to go and i'm really curious with this auto train and let's put on the right training team here we are getting right now about two qi every single curl but we should be able to increase these numbers a little bit as we have 500 sx wins and of course we can't use this to re birth at all but we can use this to get some better trails and so i think the best value is probably using this on the emerald trail and that immediately puts us up to around 80 qi strength and then let's see with our 7,000 candy can we even get some more spins i mean we can purchase a few spins are we even gonna get oh we get no christmas keys wow and we have no uh, diamond keys no platinum keys so we're stuck here with our one christmas lights arm so we are slowing down a little bit but in a matter of maybe 10 minutes we will probably be right back fighting the best boss in the game the cybernetic boss and we'll be cruising our way onto the final world so yeah i felt like a month ago there was a, a whole lot greater challenge built in even if i was dropping a ton of robux on max pet equips and all these game passes and everything i could do in my power to give me all these advantages on these new accounts it was still a struggle and still took me hours to get to this point but now i'm able to get here in like 15 minutes flat
flat. And so I really hope with the new worlds and with the new bosses that they make the game a whole lot more difficult because I honestly thought it was going to take me hours to get to this point. But it just goes to show that these pets that again, that they have flooded the market with, they are absolutely OP and they are game changing. And well, obviously there's no way to get rid of these pets. They can't just like take them from my inventory or anything. But honestly, we have one extra Christmas light arm and I think I'm going to take a chance. There's only a 20% chance. It's a very small one, but it is a chance. Nonetheless, we're going to head over to this golden arm machine. We're going to chuck in the arm. Can we get lucky? Oh, we do. We get super lucky. We get a 600% arm, a 50% boost, and we now have almost 500 QI strength. Now, in order to beat the cybernetic boss and to move on to world seven, we need a total of, wait, seven QI? They made it harder. They like tripled the amount of strength we need to beat this boss. Okay, so we might actually be here instead of for 10 minutes, for 20 minutes. <laughs> it looks like we're getting around three QI strength every time we use the hand gripper. But I mean, you guys can see if I was using even just a few of these rebirths, we would already have been in world seven a long, long time ago. But again, I am so shocked about how far and how fast we've been able to progress without these rebirths. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in uh, I'm guessing th 30 minutes. No, 45 minutes is my guess. And so we have enough strength to beat the cybernetic boss and to move on to world seven. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I, wait. I read this wrong. I read this wrong. I read this wrong. Wait, dude, I feel so stupid. You guys don't even understand the magnitude about how stupid I feel. Oh my gosh. I assumed because no one told me this. It's, when did this happen? This is 7QI. I have 800QI. I don't know when this happened. I play this game almost every single day, but I don't come to World 6 every single day. This used to be almost a thousand times harder. This used to be 500 times harder to beat this boss. The moment I stepped foot into World 6, I had enough strength to beat this boss. Meaning 10 minutes ago. Wait, what? It's glitched. What's happening? Wait, wait, it says I need bicep power. Wait, do I need bicep power? What is happening? Because it says right there 2.5 i have too many things blocking it says it has 2.5 sx and i have like one sx but then right there it says i need seven qi total recommended so what if i just train up my bicep power what is happening okay it's it only takes me like a few minutes to get seven qi total bicep power so let me just let me just make sure the best dumbbell what is happening dude <laughs> i am so confused because this used to be 2.8 sx total strength but this is just this is the bicep animation right Right? But this says total recommended. And then this says grip recommended, knuckles recommended, total. What, dude? I'm literally lost in the sauce. I don't know if this is a glitch. I don't know what's happening because I have one SX strength and I still just got smoked. Because when I read that as 7QI, my brain just defaulted to 7SX strength. So I thought I needed 7SX. Wait, what about now? Do I beat him like a little slower? Oh my gosh. I think I only need 7Q. Wait, I, dude, I'm just gonna get 7QI bicep power and see what happens because i'm literally so freaking confused right now dude i'm so lost all right we now have seven or 8.8 .8 qi total bicep power so let's just see i was wrong i'm still wrong so what does this number mean what did they were, were they wrong someone's wrong i'm i was just wrong i think okay because you need one sx so i don't okay never mind i don't think the numbers change at all i just think the developers someone made a whoopsie and like thought they changed so I'll be right back. I still think, never mind, we only need like three SX strength. So I'll see you guys in like 10 minutes. 10 minutes later. All right, we're sitting right on the cusp of 2.8 SX strength. So just in case, let's chuck on our wins team. Get to town. Okay, yeah. We're gonna squeeze out a win, but like, why? Why was the numbers wrong? They got me so excited all for nothing. I was literally so hyped. I was like, oh, I don't have to work. Nearly as hard. I was right. Wait, how are we losing this? We were winning. We were winning. What is happening? My auto clicker. It's not working. Please, I want to stop training strength. I want to be done with this world. I feel scamaz enough as is. Let me leave. <laughs> I'm so close. Please. Oh my God. This is so... Okay, thank you. 1.10 wins is ridiculous. But uh, there you go. I think in around 35... No, 40 minutes. It took us to go from the spawn world all the way here in the spawn world with 0% rebirths. We're still a noob, by the way, from a literal noob all the way to 
to world seven i actually i don't know why it's not letting us go to world seven we have the wins but we haven't gone here but let's escape the void wait beat the champion i just who's the champion i just what do you mean now they're really getting on my nerves 25 sp i have 1.10 wins and do they add a new boss is there a new boss somewhere i don't think so should, should i just beat everyone just is the orinthian the is he the champion i don't think so oh my god <laughs> okay well it looks like the orinthian's now the champion or world six good to know but uh yeah 40 minutes no rebirths i mean yes we we do have some pretty good pets uh but again these pets are completely free i didn't pay a single dime but it pay a single robux to get a single one of these i just you know did get some free uh i did just you know pay for some of these pet equips but now i am pretty curious this is where the real grind comes into play because without any rebirths i really want to know with i'm gonna leave my computer on we can't even get access to any of these dumbbells over here um because we need 48.6 qi but we are getting strength really really fast and we can go ahead and pick up a new trail we can get a 355 percent trail um and we definitely yeah we don't have any new arms we we really need like a platinum arm if we could get the chrono arm uh the buff chrono and turning that gold that would be a 1200 percent boost which would be a huge jump up oh wait codes i forgot uh we haven't entered any of the codes onto this account either and that would also be a huge 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 boost basically around doubling the total strength on this account so we, we might save that but we've done about all we can do so far and yeah as you can see we're training we're training we're training but just nothing is happening to our strength we're not really going up at all and if we wanted to beat the final boss dr propulsion we would probably either have to get like a two to three thousand percent total rebirth multiplier or we would have to sit here for like days and weeks and months so i will say like beating the final world seven boss i would need to rebirth but it is definitely doable but getting to world seven it's not really that tough at least at the moment all righty we can pick up the big old barbell which means we can get tremendously much more strength every single curl wow i forgot how much bigger of a difference that is so yeah i, I think six hours is a good enough time spent here with this barbell in hand gonna leave this running and again if we had this rebirth a two thousand percent increase i know for sure we could get at least a few sp strength we might even be able to beat this nova nomad i don't know how crazy things could get but yeah all in all it's been a pretty fun challenge up to this point but man these glowing reindeer are just so freaking op and uh even with me being a big old noob we still made it to the final world but we aren't done just yet i think like nine hours actually we ended up with 79 sx strength which yeah we would need to afk for about 10 days or so if we wanted to beat the final boss but we have one final trick up our sleeve and that is to spam about every single code that our wrestling simulator has to offer and oh trust me there is a lot there's five percent on all of our stats and since the game just hit i think a million likes we should be getting another op code soon and there is the last of the stat boost and a whole 1.1 sp strength let's go now we also have 116 octillion wins just from all the lucky blocks so we can oh we're so close from getting the lightning trail so up to 1.2 sp strength which means oh can we beat the layer guardian we're gonna be so close let me whip out the auto clicker real quick let's see 12 clicks a second oh dude i don't think we're strong enough we're not strong enough dang it man okay so i mean i guess i was kind of right in my assumption that like yes if you want to beat the very 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 final boss in arm wrestling simulator you do need to rebirth but like okay i kind of knew that was you needed to do that but still within just 10 hours and yes 47 pet equips we managed to get through all but two bosses within the game and considering like i even think that is incredible i thought personally right now we were gonna be sitting here trying to beat the starter boss in this area but no we are absolutely crushing or okay we're about to be able to crush the hard boss in world seven again i am still really really confused about what the heck happened here in world six okay now it says 2.8 sx strength i don't know what happened they confused me a heck of a lot for no reason but this challenge really wasn't meant to prove anything more than the fact i kind of wanted to see what would happen and i'm really bored within the game and this is kind of the only challenge i could think up of and so if you have any and i mean any challenges you guys want me to try with an arm wrestling simulator let me know down in the comment section below because as you can see well we're getting really creative to try to 
pass the time before the next big update within the game. And oh, dude, it's, it's so tipsy. It's so tipsy. I want to press it so bad, but but I won't. I think for now, I actually, it'd be really fun if I could try to reach world eight as a noob. That might be, I might be one of the only accounts in the world as an actual noob, but in the final world. So we, we might do that. Leave this as a noob account and uh, do some fun things later on. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next one. Deuces!